of you. All right, cool. Of course I would be here. Are you kidding? I went to this theater when it was first open. Yeah. I used to see art movies here. Now I'm going to see them again. That's perfect. <laughs> Did I hear you? I think I overheard you talking with David Simon saying you saw Psycho down the street. I saw Psycho up the street, but I saw here lots of Ingmar Bergman movies, and, the, and people saw them because they could look at naked bodies. <laughs> which one? Which one? Did you Persona uh, I, or No, Sensei? way before that. Whoa. Oh, early one, Smile on a Summer Night, and uh, Tinsel, and, you know, Brink of Life, those kind of movies. You're They're a real fan. Oh, yeah, I love Bergman. He had How? vomit in his movie before anybody. How much did Bergman inspire your work? Oh, a huge amount. I'm the only person ever that saw Bergman on LSD. <laughs> yeah, I doubt at it. At this theater. <laughs> well, now, was it at this theater? It could have been, yeah. But So you grew up in Baltimore. How often did you come here as a kid? Like, And how far away did you grow up? Well, I didn't come until I was a teenager because it was downtown, you know, yeah. go downtown and see art movies where they had espresso coffee. Yeah. I came here, but the thing was, the movie played here for half a year. Yeah. It would say 43rd week. You know, the movies played really a long time then if they were a hit. Different so time. you would hurry, you would hope it wouldn't be a hit so you'd get a new one. <laughs> Absolutely. And then uh, did, did any of your movies play here? Because this closed played, in like 78, right? No, they didn't play here. They played at the Charles. Okay. They did, uh, even Multiple Maniacs did. So, uh, and they played at the North Way, which is on, uh, on Harvard Road. Yeah, so they played in certain places, yeah. But by this time, when it was the art centers at the end, I can't remember. When did they close? I think it was like 78. I think something like yeah, that. they wouldn't have played Female Trouble, I don't think. No, no. Time. But they would have now. See, today, yeah. if if some kid made a film with a cell phone yeah. camera and came, they could show it here, and they would, yeah. and that's the point. Speaking of some kid making a film, some yeah. let's say there's another, the next John Waters out there. Well, I mean, what advice do you have for them? What, you know, what's the biggest mistake they usually make? And especially being here in the East Coast, how do they get taken seriously? It doesn't matter where you live anymore with the internet. You can, don't ever leave where you grow up. Everywhere's cool now. There's cool people everywhere. Everybody sees every movie everywhere on the internet. You don't have to leave. Just find somebody to like your work, and don't worry if it's technically screwed up in the beginning. It's, it's about the content. It's about the wit, the humor, and surprise people. I have a whole book out now called Make Trouble, which actually asks you to horrify me. That's what youth yeah. should be doing. <laughs> so grow where you're planted and weave your, your upbringing into well, you it? You can put it person. that way, yeah. Like, uh, um, you don't have to leave home anymore. Everywhere's cool. And um, have your, if nobody will show your movie, well, bring it here. They probably will. Yeah. yeah. Talk about the festival. I mean, how, how many years have you been coming here and how have you seen it grown and impact Baltimore? I've been coming to the, this festival was called Many Things. Before it was the Maryland <laughs> Film Festival, it was the Baltimore Film Festival. It was a lot of, I've yeah. been involved with all of them yeah, since yeah, the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Uh, but this one's certainly grown to be the biggest and the best. Yeah. What is the biggest compliment you've ever received on Pink Flamingos? The biggest compliment that I was never found innocent of obscenity charges ever. <laughs> How about Hairspray? Well, we won the Tony Award. That's not bad. You know. yeah. yeah, I mean... Oh, but other than that... <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, um, I guess uh, in closing, you know, why look into the camera and tell our listeners at T.O.P. why they should come out to this festival in uh, early May. Because Baltimore is so much cooler than D.C. <laughs> They'll debate it, but you might have a point. Thank you, sir. Appreciate uh, it. Good to see you.